Hi cuties and welcome or welcome back to my channel Elysian on Earth. My name is Rinka and I am so excited to be doing this reading for you. This reading question is going to be what made them fall for you? And so I hope you guys are having a lovely and deeply connected month so far. I hope it's been full of pleasant surprises gratitude and all that your heart has been desiring and wishing for and so with that i do have three piles for you in this reading we are going to be getting into both personality traits and physical traits that made them fall for you i do want to mention that this is a collective reading and so if there's any messages that don't resonate they are probably for another viewer who is watching and if you're wanting a personal reading i do offer those so you're more than welcome to check out the bio and get a more personalized and specific reading I will give you some time to look at the cards now and pick your pile or piles. As always, I have the timestamps down below. Pick your pile and click your timestamp and I will see you guys there. Hi there, my magical pile number ones and welcome to your reading. So we're gonna go ahead and flip your cards together. And this is gonna be more personality traits that we're gonna be starting out with. And so you have Vulture Spirit, nothing is wasted, and Skunk Spirit, know your worth. Which, right off the bat, it's kind of funny because you have two, maybe a little bit out there or maybe misunderstood animals here, but they are very unique and special you know vultures help to really clean up the world and they are very beneficial to the ecosystem and so i do feel like something that made them attracted to you and made them fall for you is your ability to really clean up a space so it feels like you energetically just are able to clear things that a lot of people can't. Vultures actually have very, very efficient stomachs. And so I feel like you're able to digest hard things that other people can't even begin to digest. Whether that's, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, you're not afraid of the hard, uglier, or darker things. And that's something that they really, really, really appreciate about you. It made them feel that even if, you know, the going gets tough, things aren't ideal. You're someone who is able to alchemize the situation, to pull the best out of it, to really see the potential and lessons in these harder things. And you're also very creative in terms of alchemizing something from one thing into another. So where someone might see it as waste or trash, you see it as a treasure or you're able to really pull positivity and new life and enrichment from these things that so many people discard or don't even look at. One man's trash is another man's treasure. You're just really, really, really good at making use of what is around you and not letting things go to waste. Going into the skunk spirit, as we know, skunks have a very distinct smell and so you're not for everyone. You're very bold, you know your worth, you radiate that confidence, you know how to defend yourself, you know how to protect yourself, but you're also this very cute, fluffy creature at the same time. You're very soft. And with this flower here, it does remind me of the movie Bambi and the character in it named Flower. And so in a way, you kind of are like this flower, you know, maybe like a rose, you have beautiful petals, you're very beautiful, but you also have these thorns and people need to respect you, right? They need to respect your space. So kind of like a skunk, even though they're really cute, people can't just pick them up and treat them as a pet like they would a raccoon because they have built-in defenses and they will use them in order to 
make sure that you respect their space and you don't just get up all on them or anything like that and so because you're such a bold person you're not afraid to set boundaries you're not afraid to protect yourself but you're also still very cute and lovable that's something that made this person fall for you because you have all of these qualities of you know being really sweet but also knowing what you value communicating that to others not holding back because a lot of people tend to not speak up for themselves or don't know what they stand for don't know their values don't know their worth and you don't have that you communicate very clearly and that's something they really appreciate about you since there's not really that like guesswork that they might have had to do with other people you just are straight up you are yourself and that's something that they really really love about you Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take these two cards out of the way. And we're gonna get into tarot and another oracle deck. So going into the tarot cards, this is gonna be more of your physical traits. What made them fall for my pile number ones? I'm feeling these. Yeah, two. Okay, so you have very strong, kind of regal, like a very strong regal air to you. Some of you guys might be male, and so you have just a very good looking torso, very strong chest, um, nice arms. You know, you look very wise, you look very experienced, and yet at the same time, you are very kind of flowy flowy and free because you can see that they have you know just a sheet over them so even though they're very structured and hard and sturdy they're still very flexible and soft in a way for them they kind of maybe felt like you were out of their reach you can see this girl she's looking up and you know i feel like this person when they first met you felt like you were way above them and you know, that was something that they thought was very attractive in the sense that like you are not just some stereotypical average person. You have this look of power to you and you have the hawk here too. And so I feel like your gaze is very, very strong. So when you look at people, it's almost like this piercing way of looking at their soul, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. It made them feel very exposed because you can kind of also see like they're not wearing a lot of clothes, but in a really good way. I think that they felt that you could really see them for who they are. And I think a lot of that comes from you, know, you knowing who you are. And so because you're in such a clear state, you're able to perceive the energy of others really, really well. And whether you have short hair or long hair, I do feel like your hair really stood out to them. Very well taken care of, manicured. It looks like you really care for yourself. You take care of your body. You're physically very healthy, physically very strong, able to do a lot. But also going back to that skunk card, you're not someone who's going to push yourself too hard. And so they like that you know what you're able to do, but you also let other people around you do things for you as well. And that's something that was very inviting to them. It kind of made them feel like maybe you weren't so out of reach because it seemed like you didn't want to just do things by yourself. You wanted people around you that saw how powerful and able you are, but also how open and receptive you are too. It felt like you were just very grounded and a really good leader in terms of hey, I can do this, you can do this. And they felt like you were gonna be a really good just life partner to have. So it's kind of interesting because obviously I was gonna go for more physical traits in this, but there is a lot of energetic and personality traits that are still coming through in this card too. Last couple of things I'm gonna say is, you know, with these two pillars here, it feels like you're just this pillar of strength. You have a good foundation, 
a good ability to lift things up from one place to another. You know, whether you're looking away or you're directly looking at someone, your side profile is very attractive. Your frontal profile is very beautiful as well. You know, some of you might be clean shaven. Some of you might have beards, whatever it is. They really liked your style, how you carry yourself and how you present in the world as well. So we'll pull these out of the way. And we're gonna get some Oracle cards. So we'll see what comes through with this. I'm just gonna read what wants to come through. We'll get two cards. So you have, I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion. So something that made them fall for you is how devoted you are, how much you trust in the divine, how much you, again, kind of going back to that other card, you're able to do a lot, but you also know you can't do everything alone. And so with these bigger tasks that you need help with, you're not afraid to ask for help, to pray to the divine, to ask your spirit guides, to talk to God or the goddess or whatever you believe in or whoever you work with. That's something that they found really powerful about you is yes, you're able to do a lot, but you also know the power of receiving help and asking for it too. They really like that you prayed for others or really hoped the best for others. So if there was something that someone needed help with, not only did you actively help them in the physical, but you also thought about them mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as well. Going into this card, I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. It feels like you're just really, again, an a really great alchemist you are able to set an intention and put all these things together and make it happen you make it look easy and you also have just a clear and direct image of what it is that you want out of your life and what it is that you want out of whatever you're trying to make or call in and they found that certainty very very attractive they felt that if they partnered up with you, that you would just, again, be a great leader, a great teammate. You would make things very clear, make it easier. You would have all this experience of, you know, plants, of resources, different things around you and how you could use that to create something that is bigger or better than what you have now or something that you desire or you dream of. And, you know, one thing that I'm seeing with this is when you look down, you are also just very attractive. And so that's something that made them fall for you. I'm hearing you look good from all angles, front, back, side, looking down, looking away, looking up, you know, looking at them. It all just is so nice. Okay, so we're gonna do one more little deck and it's something that I made. And I think we'll just pull two cards for this as well. So two cards, what made them fall for my pile number one? <laughs> okay, that's just confirmation. Okay. So you have, your eyelashes are so thick and long. I love when you look down. So it's just confirming that when you look down, it really just stirs something up inside of them. And then finally you have, you smell like nature, the ocean, the forest. I think you just kind of have this very primal, flowing and free air about you and that radiates in how you smell even like your psychic energy, um, you know, if they have, I think it's called Claire Olfaction, where they have psychic scent, they can pick up that you are very connected to earth, your body, and also ocean and your emotions. And so that's something that really made them feel drawn to you is that you really remind them of these beautiful places and being around you is so refreshing and cleansing and 
really just brings them into their body. It makes them happy to be here as a human feeling all these things. So with that, that's your reading my pile number one. I hope that you enjoyed it. With that, that's all I have for you guys today. And if you're going on to another pile, I'll see you there. Or you're going to look at some of my other readings, I'll also be seeing you there. But if not, sending lots of love your way and I'll see you next time. Hello there, my pile number two, and welcome to your reading. So the first two cards are going to get into personality traits that made them really interested in you and really made them fall for you. So you have the armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries, and the squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. And so with the squirrel here, squirrels are very playful. They're really cute. They are really good planners since obviously they collect all these things to prepare for winter. And so I feel like you're a very prepared person. You plan really well, but you're also very playful and just fun to watch. You're very cute. With Armadillo Spirit, I do feel like you might have like a tough exterior that maybe is a little bit initially hard to get to know because I feel like you're very busy and you are kind of go, 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 or you like to get things done. And so, you know, if someone's just meeting you, they're kind of like, huh, like, I don't know if he has time for me or, you know, what kind of person they are, you know, beyond the stuff that they do. But when looking at you and watching you more, I think they really started to see this like soft, and sensitive part of you come out and so this juxtaposition of you know toughness and ability to get shit done and also just like sensitivity and cuteness and playfulness it really just sealed the deal for them i feel like the reason why you maybe sometimes come off as having a tough exterior is because you realize there's these like important things you want to do in your life and that you need to do to feel stable and secure and I think that's something that made them very attracted to you and fall for you because while you're very actually playful and silly, you're also very serious and take the things that you do very seriously. You set healthy boundaries so that you can get these things done and focus on them and pour your energy into them because they matter to you. And because they matter to kind of like this grand scheme of what you're working towards and what you want to do out of your life. And that was very inspirational to them. Last thing I'm going to say with this is that it just feels like you have a lot of self-confidence. You really believe in yourself and what you're doing. And that kind of security and essence about you really made them fall for you. Because I think a lot of people feel maybe lost or aimless or a bit insecure and you're kind of the complete opposite of that and so that's something that really stands out about you and really caught their eye okay we're gonna move these out of the way and get into the tarot cards for you so let me use them fall for my pile number two i'm thinking more physical traits but i will also channel anything else that wants to come through Okay. It's a lot of kind of masculine energy coming through in these readings today. So if you are some of my male viewers, thank you for watching and for being a part of my channel. And even if you are not male and you're female, it does feel like you have a kind of very structured air about you or very you know you're very connected to your divine masculine and you know this ability to build and create and so that's something that's really coming through with why they kind of fell for you so you have the knave of chalices and the devil so i feel like you're kind of spicy you might intimidate or scare some people but you did not do that for them if anything you kind of made them more connected to they're darker or more unseen or like harder to look at energies within themselves. You feel kind of like devilish, but in like a really good way. And so 
The devil is, I believe, represented by Capricorn. So some of you guys might be Capricorns. Um, and if not, it just feels like you have this ability to really look at the things that hold people back or that they struggle with and help them see that better so that they can overcome it. And so they really appreciate that about you because it feels like, you know, if I was paired up with this person, they would help me on my weaknesses and help me overcome them and then, you know, be able to climb over them. And then it would just be like a molehill in comparison to a mountain. So something that they once thought was so hard to overcome or get over, you're like, it's just a little blip. Like you can definitely do that. And here's how you can do that. I feel like your eyes are very piercing. Some of you may have had, you know, kind of different colored hair. Um, you're a little bit maybe more eccentric or you don't really look like the typical cookie cutter person. And so that's something that really stood out to them about you and made them fall for you. Some of you guys are probably a little bit more edgy. You might even dress like a little gothic I'm hearing. Um, you might even work with like taxidermy or just like work with the energies of destruction and death but in like a very intentional way right because if you destroy bad habits or you put to death negative limiting beliefs that's you know a very powerful and positive way of working with those forces in your life and i'm also feeling like one of the reasons they fell for you is you have very beautiful or nice hands your eyebrows are very nice. You have a very strong and straight nose. Your cheekbones are very high or you have just like a nice shape to your face. And some of you guys might have pets. So I think that how you treated your pets or your connection to your pets was something that really stood out about you. And you know, you might even like talk to them or be able to really understand what they're telling you. So you might be able to communicate more telepathically. And that's something that also really made them feel, wow, like this person's really special. They're really different. And I really like appreciate their outlook and how they see things because it's not typical or it's not like how people usually treat these things or work with these things. And it's really refreshing. Going into the nave of chalices, you have just like a very beautiful body, you know, nice neck, nice collarbone, shoulders. Again, hands are coming through. Your hair is really nice. It's very flowy. It's almost like it has a life of its own. Whether you dress down or you dress very formally, you look very just eye-catching. And, you know, whether you're looking at the person or you're looking away, you just are so striking. You really stand out. And that was something that really made them fall for you is that they couldn't keep their eye off of you. There was just something about you that really drew them to you. I think they also felt that you had this ability to bring out like these deeper emotions, like I said, or like these maybe darker or like more hidden energies to them. And you made them feel not afraid to show them. So maybe you like allowed them to show their more emotional sensitive side or their more quirky and maybe not socially accepted side. And you really embraced it. You made them feel welcome and valued. And that was something that really just sealed the deal for them. They were like, wow, I've never felt like this with someone in my life. This is really special. They're really special. And so that's something that really made them fall for you. I'm also, last thing I'm going to say with this is that I think you leave like a lot to be desired. So you show just enough, but you also kind of have this air of mystery about you that really made them wonder about you and want to dive closer to you or dive deeper with you to really see all of you because they felt like you could really see them. But I think they maybe had a hard time reading you at first and that made them really curious and they really, I think that made them work harder to get your attention and to get closer to you because they wanted to know what you were all about. Okay, we're gonna move these out of the way and pull some Oracle cards. Okay, so what made them fall for my pile number twos? Do two cards like we've been doing. Okay, I have to cover this second card real quick. So. Okay. 
Okay, so you have, I trust the change unfolding in my life and I forgive and let go with loving ease. So you just seem like you're very connected to your self-trust, your trust in spirit, your trust in change. I think you really recognize what a powerful force it is and that, you know, what is unfolding in your life is happening for you to learn, to grow, to experience new things. I'm also getting physically that your accessories are really nice. If you wear any hats or headwear, it's also very beautiful. And again, something that's coming through is whether you're covered up or you're not, it is just impeccable. Like you look amazing. And again, hands are coming through again. So this person really, really likes your hands. I think it just maybe represents how hands on you are and also how creative you are. You know, you can see these cherry blossoms growing and so you might be a really good gardener or just what you tend to really grows and expands and becomes something bigger than what it once was. So I think something that made them fall for you was your ability to work with changes and intentionally work with them to improve the things around you and in your life. It feels like you really know how to take care of yourself, take care of others, take care of things. And that was something that really made them fall for you. It also feels like you are just kind of very enlightened. You have this aura about you, you know, like <laughs> Buddha or Jesus, where there's like this glowing aura around your crown. And it feels like you're just able to see what other people can't see quite yet. You are able to see the process, the journey, and trust that even if it's not there yet, it is eventually going to reach there. And so that's something that really made them fall for you since I think maybe there's someone who has a hard time trusting things, has a hard time with change, or has a hard time seeing the bigger picture, and you really opened their vision up to that. Going into this card, I feel like you have just a very open throat chakra. You communicate very well. You're very flexible, but you're also very structured. You know how to flow, but also how to plan and how to utilize these maybe two opposing forces to get what you want to happen. You have a very nice side profile. They like even your legs, your calves, your feet, your butt, your back. They like the way that you look when you throw your head back or you're just maybe more relaxed or free. I think that being able to see that side of yourself, see you let go and you know, relax into ease was really magical because I think on the outside world, you're very, again, go, 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 do, do, do. And so they realize that's not all you are. Like they realize that the reason why you're able to do that so well is because you do rest. You do take care of yourself. You love yourself. And because you do it so well, you're able to give more to others. You're able to do more because again, you're not someone who pours from an empty cup. And so I think the way that you recharge yourself and relax was again, just so beautiful and inspiring to see. And I think that seeing that side of you that other people don't really made them feel special and really made them fall for you. Last things I'm getting is I feel like your nose is again, very just beautiful. There's like a nice shape to it. Same for your lips, very kissable. I'm even hearing like your ears look like seashells. Just every little detail of you looks finely crafted and intentionally made, like high quality. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. And we're gonna pull from a deck I made and we're gonna get two cards. So two more cards for what made them fall for my pile. Ooh, number two, we'll go with these top ones. So you have, you continue to surprise me. Being by you is such a gift. So you're someone who continually impresses them, continually surprises them. Maybe you're just a really good lover. You're very considerate. You're very creative and they just love watching you grow and live your life and being beside you. 
they feel so blessed to have you in their life. It says your energy is energizing and uplifting. So again, all these things that they didn't know were possible or they're, they had never met someone like you, it really just inspires them to be better, to be bigger, to be bolder. I think your self-confidence is contagious and it made them a more confident person. How you are a go-getter made them want to chase after their dreams with the same ferocity that you do. I think you're someone who's just really able to hype up others and even if you don't say anything, your energy is just so fiery. It's so illuminating. It's so warming. And so, again, being by you has done wonderful things for them. Overall, I think this person's just really grateful for the impact you have on not only them, but the world around you and just who you are as a person. And that's something that really made them fall for you and makes them continually fall for you even deeper because you have helped them reach new places, achieve new things. They're constantly impressed by you just living your life. And they're so excited, I feel like, to just continue on this journey together and see how you continue to impact the world, continue to make your dreams come true, continue to build things, continue to create things. And yeah, I just think it's so cute. I feel like they're really just inspired by you. And last thing I'm going to say is during your reading, half of it became bright and then part shadow. And so I feel like you have very balanced feminine energies and masculine energies, light and shadow energies as well. And so that's an additional thing that made them fall for you is your ability to work with these two opposing or different energies and uplift them into their highest forms and really unite them to just become a more aware, intentional, and powerful person. So with that, my pile number two that you're reading, I hope that you loved it. And if you guys have any future, you know, video ideas you want me to do, like readings or questions, definitely just leave them in the comments below. I love to, you know, just be helpful and be here for you guys. So with that, if you're going to watch another pile, I'll see you guys there. If you're going to watch another video of mine, I will also be very excited to continue to read for you. But if not, I hope you guys have a lovely day or evening. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Hello there, my pile number threes. I always get the three is a magic number. I think it's from Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> so maybe some of you guys are, are kind of musically inclined or kind of just silly. Or you like watching cartoons and that's something that made them fall for ya. But we're going to go ahead and get into your cards. Right away, there's a lot of oranges, yellows, reds, greens. So I'm feeling like, and also even like third eye right here, I'm feeling like your chakras are very balanced, radiant, and vibrant. And so that's something that really caught their eye is just how harmonious you seem to be and awakened you seem to be in every single part of your life or in all these different areas of life whether that's creation being grounded seeing clearly expressing love receiving love it just seems like you have it kind of all worked out and balanced and that was something that really caught their eye about you so you have giraffe spirit, see the big picture, and badger spirit, be fearless and bold. I do feel like some of you guys are from pile one and two just because of the similarities and energy that I'm picking up. If you guys were also drawn to those piles and you're watching this pile first, I would definitely suggest exploring them too because I'm feeling like it wants you to get into those too. So yeah, if you're drawn to any of those piles, definitely watch it after this one. But anyways, getting into your cards here, I feel like your ability to reach things that other people can't reach and make it look easy was something that made them fall for you. Maybe you're really tall or you're just, again, able to 
go for things that other people wouldn't go for. They would be too scared to, they would feel like they're not good enough. They would feel too small to do it. You're not afraid to do that. You are also able to see things that other people can't. You can see things from a very high perspective and it feels like you give really, really good advice. It also feels like you're very aware of your surroundings, how that might impact you or how that might impact others and the situation. And so I think your ability to just see clearly and to use your perception to help others was something that they really, really fell hard for. It really feels like you look out for others you do it from such a gentle and considerate place and they just felt so safe in your energy and so taken care of. And so that's something that really drew them in and made them fall for you. You can also see here that they both are looking directly at you. So I do feel like when someone is talking to you, you're very present and it feels like your whole presence is there, right? All seven chakras, every layer of your being you're all there for that person. And so that's something that really made them fall for you. I'm also hearing you have very beautiful eyes. Your eyelashes are really, really pretty. You have just a very nice and serene face. Your ears are cute. Um, you have a very slender neck. And even though you're very kind of gentle and you are very nurturing, you're also kind of this badass where they can really feel how powerful you are. And so even though you might be maybe slower moving, you're not weak. People can tell that like if stuff went down, like you would be able to show up and like kick ass basically. I think they knew that like they couldn't mess with you and other people couldn't mess with you. And I don't think they would want to or anyone else would either. I think they really respect you and they look up to you and they wouldn't want to push that out of you either. Going into Badger Spirit, they love how bold you are and fearless you are. You, again, just go after things that other people wouldn't. You're a very bold personality. You stand out a lot. I'm feeling like maybe you have a love for gardens, for flowers, for plants, and that's something that really made them fall for you as well. Maybe you brought them flowers or just the way that you talked about nature was something that really made them fall for you. And then with these feathers here, it kind of feels like, again, it's just alluding to your ability to see higher since birds can obviously fly very high and they also have very great vision too. Um, another thing that I'm also picking up on is this kind of like shamanic or native um, energy so some of you guys might identify as being maybe shamans or come from a lineage that has shamans some of you guys might be native and so that's something that also made them fall for you it just feels like you're very wise and connected to earth and connected to your ancestors and different power animals and different power places again you just feel like you have a very powerful and connected energy that's not only grounded but is also able to fly freely and also see through so many things like the veil you have a lot of spiritual insight to give to others a lot of wisdom and maybe like ancient practices or like ancient knowings that you embody very very well in this kind of modern day society i'm gonna pull these out of the way and get into two tarot cards so what made them fall for my pile number three? What made them fall for my pile number three? Okay, this is really funny because I'm pretty sure I pulled these like same two cards in a previous reading I did. So you guys are probably from that pile. So if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. It's so good to have you guys here. I love reading your cards and just getting into, you know, what spirit wants to say, what this person wants to say, and deliver these messages for you. If you're new here, um, I'm excited to get into all of this for and with you too. So you have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Chalices. I would definitely say that this pile, it's definitely touching into your more feminine energies. And again, there's flowers again here. So I feel like you have just maybe like a very floral 
scent to you or kind of like flowers you are very beautiful and you add a lot of color into life so that's something that made them fall for you you smell really good and you're just gorgeous and you just bloom very beautifully your connection to your emotions and your ability to you know let things out if you need to to release as you need to is something that made them fall for you since i think a lot of people tend to hold things in or hide things and you aren't someone who's like that you're not afraid to be sensitive you know how important and healing it can be to cry um, it helps to balance hormones it helps you to again release anything that you might be feeling inside of you alchemize it and that's something that made them really fall for you is it felt like you're just deeply connected to your emotions and you're not afraid to show them and also with the tears here and the flowers it's kind of like even the things that you let go of or the things that you let fall away it still creates beauty or it still creates something new um it's almost like it's not done in vain right so any hardship you've gone through like something beautiful or something new comes from it you have this ability to water the things around you because you are so in tune with your emotions and showing them and feeling them and that's something that really made them feel safe to show their own emotions towards you because it felt like you were able to handle yours and also able to hold space for them as well with these two cards here if you have your hair up they thought it was really really beautiful it really showed off your your neck area how slender you are i think you have very like dainty wrists small fingers but kind of long your hair is really pretty some of you like my other pals might have had blue hair at some point my little sister had blue hair so if she's watching this hello um and I'm also getting, you know, you just kind of have a very lovely mind because there's these little hearts on her head right here. And so they just love getting to know what's on your mind, um, you know, why you feel the way that you feel, what you felt, all of that sort of stuff. And if you wear scarves or dresses or even more flowy clothing, they thought that it just draped you like perfectly like you look like a greek god or a greek goddess almost they thought you just styled yourself so intentionally and so magically i'm also getting you know with this bracelet here if you wear like jewelry or bracelets a lot it really just highlights your physical features very well i'm hearing that you have a very beautiful side profile and similar to my other piles you no matter what, like whether you're looking at something else, you kind of look dreamy or whether you're looking down and you look like sad, you still look so pretty no matter how you feel, no matter where you're looking, no matter where you are, you just have this like very magical presence about you that really made them fall for you. Going into the four of cups here, I'm getting that some of you guys might really just know how to kick back and relax. Um, some of you guys might smoke like MJ. Um, you have a very deep connection to plants, right? Like I was saying earlier before. You know how to calm yourself down and it feels like you're very emotionally intelligent and so that's something that made them fall for you because a lot of people aren't in tune with their emotions they're not connected to themselves they don't allow their feelings to be shown to others or like these more vulnerable parts or more hidden parts that most people feel like they have to hide away let that out in the open and that's very nice for them because i don't think they ever have to like guess how you feel i think they can kind of see it or pick up on it I'm also feeling like you're a very flowy person. You go with the flow. You might be someone who loves to swim, who loves to surf, who loves to like free dive. I'm getting something with like the ocean here. So maybe you live by the ocean, you've lived by lakes. And so they can tell that you're a very adventurous and active person. You're not someone who's shallow. You have a lot of depth to you. And that's something that really made them fall for you is because they wanted to explore your depths. They wanted to kind of get past this shallow surface level 
relationship with you and get deeper. So that was something that they really wanted to explore and they were very excited to explore because they didn't know what they were gonna find, but they knew it was gonna be magical and radiant and so full of color and life and experiences. So I think that's all I'm getting out of these cards. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out of the way. I'm gonna go and pull two Oracle cards. So, what made them fall for my pile number three? What made them fall for my pile number three? Okay, so you have, I am the weaver of my reality and conscious eating nourishes me. So I think you have just good taste you understand that good food is like the building blocks of life. It is what allows you to live, to be healthy, to do all the things you want to do, right? It gives you energy. And so it feels like that made them fall for you because you're not someone who just eats like trash or not mindfully. You're very conscious of what you put into your body. and that's on not only like food, but also like what you watch, what you listen to, you're very intentional with these sorts of things. Going into I am the weaver of my reality. I feel like you're just very at home in yourself. You're able to create a home very easily. You're able to make yourself feel comfortable. You notice the subtle vibrations around you. You're very psychically sensitive. You can pick up what other people are putting down or you know, if they're thinking about you or thinking about something, I feel like you're able to pick that up very easily, even if they don't say anything. You might be a Cancer, you might have Pisces in your chart, you might just be an empath or clairsentient. That was something that really made them fall for you because it was almost like you really saw them, you really heard them, you really feel them in a way that other people aren't able to perceive them. You are very perceptive, you're very observant. And so, you know, there's certain things that maybe they didn't voice or they maybe had a hard time like giving words to, but it just seemed like you understood them. It really felt like you just have this understanding of the world about yourself and also of them. And so that's something that really made them, you know, interested in you and also fall for you. I'm also getting that you're very creative and that you really show your creativity around you in your home. You're able to do a lot of different things at once. You have a lot of hands in different places. And so, you know, you might be really good at this. You're also really good at this. And also, surprise, also really interested in this and you have a hand in this and you're able to do this. It just feels like you constantly surprise them with how magical you are and how efficient you are and how creative you are and so many different things like cooking, drawing, painting, writing. Um, it feels like you also know really good places to eat or places to hang out or places to explore. You're very adventurous. And so that's something that really made them fall for you too. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these cards out of the way. And the last two cards we're pulling from a deck I made. We're gonna get two more cards. So what made them fall? for my pile number three. Ooh, so there's one. <laughs> How funny. Okay, you are such a talented and creative person. You have great and inspirational ideas. So again, kind of like what you do just inspires them. You make them want to draw more, express more, create more. You know, when you say like, oh, I want to go here or this place looks really cool or like I found this new thing that I wanted to try, it makes them want to do that too or to plan that for you or to like go do that together. And so just being around you is really fun. 
they're never bored around you it's always like you guys have something to do and so that's something that made them fall for you as well is just how much fun they have with you and how inspiring you are that like if you have an idea they're like let's go do that or you know let's go make that happen like i would love to do that with you finally you are so funny and silly you make others laugh so easily and you know laughter is one of the most healing medicines it's such a fun energy to be in and so i think you have a natural ability to make people giggle to really have strong belly laughter to not be so serious and to take life lightly i think that you're very entertaining you're fun to watch you break the ice really easily and you make them feel really relaxed and i also feel like you're really connected to your inner child um and so it feels like you connect them to their inner child it kind of feels like the world is your playground and you guys just really have fun together exploring and so that's something that really made them fall for you too i'm hearing that you know when someone meets you you're very easy to love or to fall for because there's just so many amazing things and qualities about you so it's very very cute so with that that is your reading my cutie pile number threes i hope that it really resonated with you that it maybe just cleared up some things or affirmed some things for you and if you guys have any topics you want me to cover in my future videos leave them down below and i'll definitely look into them and if you're gonna go on and watch some of the other piles i'll be seeing you guys there and with that i hope you guys have a lovely day as magical as you and i will be seeing you guys next time love ya